we proceed to uh, wheels. So, for example, the wheels, uh, these are structures uh, similar to uh, spillway or basically spillway talaga sila. So, for example, uh, pwede silang gamitin as a spillway sa isang overflowing dam. Kung marami ng laman yung isang dam or isang reservoir, all you have to do is uh, reduce its uh, content by using a wheel. Okay? So, for example, ito yung portion of the side view. Ito yung parang uh, front view ng uh, wheel. Unahin natin yung uh, rectangular uh, wheel. So, bale ito yung portion na uh, exit ng tubig. So, let's say we have L as the length of, tinatawag ito as the crest. Uh, the length of its crest, then head H. That is the height of water above the, okay, above the crest. So, saan ba nanggaling yung concept ng wheels? Uh, ang concept ng wheels is nanggaling lang din sa nanggaling lang din sa concept ng orifice. Okay? So, we have flow rate actual is equal to uh, C, kailangan natin ang coefficient of discharge times area of the orifice times the uh, velocity. So, theoretical velocity natin last time from orifice is the square root of 2G uh, H. So, by calculus, we are to consider here a differential strip. Uh, let's say the height of this differential strip is a dh. The area of the orifice is the area of this rectangular a strip. That is L. And we have L times I dh. So, we have the flow rate actual is now equal to a uh, coefficient of discharge, yung area ng orifice is uh, the length times uh, dh this is multiplied by the theoretical velocity so take na that kailangan yung makoy uh, gumamit ng coefficient discharge kasi nga the same lang sa concept ng orifice we need coefficients to determine the actual values so c area of orifice the velocity is the square root of 2gh the theoretical velocity for orifice last time so we have to separate constants and variables we have the flow rate actual is now equal to this is the square root of 2g coefficient of discharge okay, the length this is uh, h raised to I will be having h raised to 1 half this is h raised to 1 half dh so we have to integrate this side so this is from 0 to h so we'll be having the flow rate actual is now equal to the square root of 2G, coefficient of discharge, or sa ibang reference, capital C lang yan, ay the length, then this is, integrating this one, this is H, never mind the zero, that is, or H is a raised to 1 half plus 1, divided by a 1 half plus 1, to be evaluated from 0 to H. So never mind the lower limit, since that is zero. So the flow rate actual is equal to, the square root of uh, 2g, or pwede natin kunin yung constant na to, this is 1 half plus 1 is uh, 1 and a half or 3 over 2. Reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3, the square root of 2g, c, condition discharge, the length, then the head is to uh, 3 over 2, that is 1 half plus uh, 1. Or flow rate actual in terms of the decimal, Two thirds of the square root of two times a g is the same as two point ninety five. Coefficient of discharge, the length, the head raised to a uh, three over two. So this will be the formula for discharge for a uh, rectangular a rectangular a uh, wheel. So uh, in some cases, okay, or yung portion na to, we have this portion. This is called the wheel constant. And we constant, let's say C sub W is equal to in yung uh, two thirds of the square root of 2G times the coefficient of uh, discharge. We have a specific case, uh, lalo na sa, siguro, since this is also a topic fa uh, popular in the board exam. So usually, uh, medyo sikap doon yung Francis formula. And the Francis formula for uh, discharge, yung coefficient ng kanyang, or the value of its uh, wheel constant is 1.84. So, ang mangyayari lang sa formula na to, under Francis formula, 
We have the flow rate actual is na equal to 1.84 hanggang C do yung C D. So 1.84 L H base to okay 3 over okay 3 over 2. So ito naman yung formula ni uh, Francis or the Francis formula. So there are there are cases na nakokontract there are cases na nakokontract yung liquid pag labas niya dito sa sa spillway or dito sa weir. So sabi nga natin the same sa orifice, sa orifice kasi is meron tayong Bena contracta, the contracted cross-sectional area of uh, flow. So dito, meron tayong uh, contraction. Uh, for example, one end contraction. So for example, yung edge na to, tinutulog yung liquid. Para yung flow direction is papunta sa kanan. Or, pwede yung pareho lang. Uh, pwede yung pareho na yung ginamit dito yung sharp edge na yung flow ng liquid is papunta sa gitna. So parang ganun yung appearance. Nakokontract yung liquid paglabas niya sa, sa spillway. So let's say this is, kapag one-end contraction, okay, so kapag one-end contraction, we are to reduce yung L. Bakit kailangan i-reduce yung L? Kasi nga, hindi naman nagagamit yung actual hindi naman nagagamit yung actual length no? uh, ng weir dahil nga naitutulak yung liquid papunta sa, uh, sa gitna so we have kapag kapag may 1N contraction L prime is equal to L 1N contraction bawasan nyo ng 10% yung yung head so uh, that is L minus uh, 0.1 of the head kapag 2N contraction naman <coughs> Kapag ito ang contraction naman is ang gagamitin natin na L supposedly sa mga formula na to, L prime is this is L minus 20% of the head. So medyo madali lang naman yung memorization. 1N contraction, 10%. Okay, uh, kapag 2N contraction, 20%. Pero kung walang sinabi or it is not indicated that we have N contractions, all you have to do is use the actual length of the uh, wheel. Alright, that is for a rectangular wheel. Okay, so what about a uh, triangular uh, wheel? So for example, this is the triangular wheel. So let's say, ito yung level ng tubig dito sa spillway na to. And the height or the head is uh, H. So we are to consider a differential strip. Okay, dito. Let's say the width of this differential uh, strip is x and this is uh, dh. So the same application that the flow rate actual of an orifice is coefficient of discharge and of the orifice, the theoretical uh, velocity. So we have the area of the orifice this time is equal to x, the area of the strip, x dh. Alright, then we have uh, the theoretical velocity is the same as the square root of uh, 2gh from the orifice. So let's say the head about the strip is uh, small h. So if this is the total head capital H, small h, this is the same as h minus h. Hatingin lang natin ito para magkaroon tayo ng konting uh, how to eliminate the value of x. Again. So, hatiin lang natin siya. Kapag hinati ko yan, this is x over 2. Then, this is theta over 2. Kalahati ng central angle no? uh, or the vertex of this triangular wheel. So, if I use tangent, that is a tangent of theta over 2. Uh, the tangent of theta over 2 is equal to uh, that is opposite, that is x over 2, adjacent side is the capital H minus H. So, we'll be having the value of X as 2 times, ito yun, 2 times H minus H plus multiplication, the tangent of theta over uh, 2. So, para ma-eliminate natin yung variable uh, na X. So, we have the flow rate actual is going to equal to the coefficient of discharge. What is the area of the orifice? That is, we have X 
dh. What is the theoretical velocity? This is the square root of 2 gh. So we have flow rate actual is not equal to, okay, so isolate the constants. That is the square root of 2 g, coefficient of discharge. What is the value of x? This is twice of h minus h a tangent of theta over 2. Okay. Then that is h uh, raised to 1 half dh. So, po yung lang ako maligtaan. So, x square root 2g cd h raised to 1 half. Then, you may distribute this one. We have the flow rate actual so equal to bring out the constant twice of the square root of 2 coefficient of discharge. Distribute this one. Then, uh, ito mo lang, yung tangent of theta over 2. This is multiplied by capital H times small h raised to 1 half minus H times H is H raised to okay, 3 over uh, 2 dH. So, pwede natin integrate yung part na, niya, part na yan. And this is coefficient of discharge, tangent of theta over 2. Integrate this side from 0 to the total, okay, total head. So, we have in the flow rate actual. Okay, flow rate actual is equal to this is twice of 2 square root of g coefficient of discharge tangent of theta over 2. Okay, take note that the capital H is constant. The small h is the uh, variable. So, we have this is h, h raised to 1 half plus 1. This is uh, 1 half plus 1 minus this one. We have h raised to 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by uh, 3 over 2 plus 1. To be evaluated from 0 to h. Okay. So we have the flow rate actual. So equal to twice the square root of 2g. C sub d. Tangent of theta over 2. Okay. Ano yung magiging result nito? This is the same as h. Small h raised to 3 over 2. Divided by 3 over 2. Minus. This is h raised to 5 over 2. Divided by 5 over 2. To be evaluated from 0 to h. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, palitan lang natin yung mga small h ng capital, capital H. So, we have a flow rate actual sa so equal twice the square root of 2g, coefficient of discharge, tangent of theta over 2. So, kapag magiging uh, capital H na to, plus 1, that will be the same as h raised to 5 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, minus... Uh, minus, or pwede natin kunin na yung reciprocal nito. So, it's the same as 2 over 3. Minus, uh, 2 over 5 of capital H. Replace with capital H raised to 5 over 2. Since we have the same exponent, then we may now, uh, we may now uh, do the operation of uh, subtraction. So, what is 2 thirds minus 2 over 5? That is the same as, okay, 15, I think. This is 15. Uh, what point are? So, 15, 10, minus 6. I think, tama. Uh, yes. So, 10 minus 6 times 2. Uh, 10 minus 6 is 4 times 2. That is 8 over 15. So, chloride aqua will be 8 over 15 times 2. Ano, this is 4 over 15 times 2 is 8 over 15 of the square root of 2g coefficient of discharge a tangent of theta over 2 then pinagsama na natin raised to 5 over uh, 2 so ano kaya ito in decimal what will be the value kapag decimal yan So we have the value of 2 point 8 over 15 or square root 2g is equal to uh, 2 point uh, 36 The coefficient of discharge tangent of theta over 2 This is qualified by h raised to 5 over 2 So ito naman yung formula natin for Okay, for a triangular wheel So may mga cases naman din sa triangular wheel na kapag 
Uh, sabi nila, if we have the theta is simply equal to 90 degrees, yung discharge is equal to 1.4, the head is 2, 5 over at 2. So that will be the uh, one special case for a triangular wheel. So paano naman kapag yung, yung wheel mo is, for example, we have trapezoidal. If you have a trapezoidal wheel, Okay, so for a trapezoidal wheel, how to compute for the discharge for a trapezoidal wheel? So that is, the discharge actual is the discharge of the rectangular part plus the discharge of the triangular part. Yun lang naman. So pagsamahin lang, if we are to determine the discharge of a trapezoidal wheel, we are to combine the formula of the rectangular wheel earlier plus the formula for ay the formula for a uh, triangular wheel. So kaya lang, ito na naman, kapag triangular wheel at ano, kapag trapezoidal wheel pala, so doon papasok yung special case for trapezoidal wheel, yung tinatawag natin na sipuleti. Okay, so for a sipuleti wheel, Yes, we have the flow rate actual is equal to 1.859 LH raised to a 3 over a 2. So, kailan natin matatawag na sipuleti wheel ang isang trapezoidal wheel? So, kapag yung trapezoidal wheel na to, So for the cases that we have a four vertical and one horizontal slope for the trapezoidal wheel. So kung baga kung ito yung ating uh, theta, uh, this is one horizontal, four vertical, the tan of, or tangent of theta over 2, kasi nandito yung kalahate on the other side, uh, the tangent of theta over 2 is equal to 1 horizontal to 4 vertical. That will be a sipuleti wheel. Okay? So, let's have an example. Okay, so let's have an example. So, a symmetrical trapezoidal wheel with side slope to horizontal 4 vertical has a wastewater flowing it. If the head is 0 0.75 and the crest length is equal to 2 meters, with C is equal to 0 0.60 for the rectangular portion, and C is equal to 0 0.62 for the triangular uh, portion, determine the uh, discharge. So, for example, we have a uh, trapezoidal uh, wheel. We need to check the slope. So, is this a sipuleti wheel? So, basically, no. Kasi ang slope nito is 2 horizontal for vertical. For a sipuleti, the slope is 1 horizontal uh, to uh, vertical. So, wala tayong specific formula for a trapezoidal wheel. So, all you have to do is divide the trapezoid into a triangular and a rectangular portion. So, ito yung magiging equivalent ni, ng theta over 2. The opposite is 2. Adjacent side is uh, 4. So, again, how to determine the discharge? That will be the discharge from the rectangular portion plus uh, the discharge from the triangular portion. portion. So, flow rate actual, uh, rectangular part is 2.95 C, coefficient discharge L, the head raised to uh, 3 over 2, that is plus triangular is 2.36, the option of discharge, that is the tangent of uh, theta over 2, the head raised to 5 over, okay, 5 over 2. Okay, so combination or the summation of the discharge from the two shapes. So we have an equivalent ng tangent of theta. Tangent of theta over 2 is opposite. 
That's the same as two verb. A descent is four or the same as one half. Then, by direct substitution tayo. So, binabing the flow rate actual is now equal to 2.95. What is the value of C for the rectangular force? What is 0 point? 0 0.60. What is the length? That is 2 meters. What is the head? We have 0 point. Uh, 75, this is raised to 3 over 2. Then plus, we have triangular portion is 2.36. Uh, the value of C is 0 point. We have 0 0.62. What is the equivalent of uh, tangent of theta over 2? Tangent of theta over 2 is the same as yun, 1 half. Then the head is, we have 0 0.75. This is raised to 5 over, uh, 5 over 2. So we are will be having the flow rate upward or the discharge from the spillway. So we have in the value is equal to two point. So about 2.65 656 cubic meters per second. So this will be the discharge from the trapezoidal wheel. Double check. is 2.656 cubic meter per second. So let's have another example. Okay, let's try this one. So this is an example of a cipolletti wheel. So the gross length of a cipolletti wheel is five times its head. Okay? So we have the cross length or trapezoidal So this is the cross length, that was we have the head. This is H. So, the crest length is uh, 5 times the head. Okay? So, find the length if the discharge is equal to 0 0.82. So, we have the discharge from that cipolletti as 0 0.82 cubic meter per uh, second. So, we are looking for, find the length. Okay? We are looking for the length. So, cipolletti, again, kapag cipolletti, the slope should be 4 vertical, 1 horizontal. Unlike sa previous example kanina, it's 2 horizontal, uh, 4 vertical. So, it's the formula for cipolletti. This is flow rate actual is equal to 1.859 L is raised to I3 over, I3 over 2. So, it's the... Uh, what is the equivalent of the discharge? We have 0 0.82 equal to 1.859. What is the equivalent of the length? The equivalent of the length is 5 times the head raised to uh, 3 over uh, 2. So this is the same as 0 0.82 equal to 1.859 okay, times 5. This is the same as, oh, sorry, you like the sum h. So L is 5 over 5h. Times h raised to 3 over 2. So in the same base, and I'm going to go exponent, that is plus 1. We need h raised to 5 over 2. So let's compute for the equivalent of the head. So the value of the head is equal to 0 0.3 uh, 
0.79 meters. So, pero gamitin nyo yun ng lahat ng values. L is equal to 5 times the head. 0.379. So, I'm using the all values. Baka may pagkakaiba kasi pag the grounding. So, times 5, it is equal to 1 point. 80, 893 meters. So that will be the length of the press. Ano yan? At the length of the press of the Cipolletti wheel. I will explore this example. Okay, so still on beer, uh, we have the case of a uh, falling head. So di ba spillway siya? So it means uh, nagdi-discharge ka, nagbabawas ka ng tubig from a, from a uh, reservoir. So for example, this is your initial head, head number one, then your final head. Ganun pa rin yung concept, the same sa concept ng orifice. That the flow rate actual is equal to negative differential volume divided by differential time. So if you are now dealing with time, this is negative differential volume, kailangan natin yung area ng reservoir or area ng malaking tanke, that is yung area differential head so gagamit ko ulit dito ng strips or strip divided by flow rate actual ngayon, yung flow rate actual na to depende na lang kung anong formula yung gagamitin natin is it the rectangular? Or is it the Francis formula? triangular? or trapezoid? or cipolletti? so it depends na lang so pwede tayong mag-focus sa concept dito from 0 to T on the other side from uh, initial head to okay, the final head. So, kung i-deride ko kasi yun, kung i-deride ko lahat ng formula na yun, so magkakaroon tayo ng, I think, uh, rectangular, triangular, trapezoidal, cipolletti, francis, may limang formula na madi-deride from this one. Pero, gamitin lang natin yung concept na to. So, let's try an example. Okay, so example, a rectangular spillway controls a reservoir 4.6 hectares in area. The permanent crest is at elevation 75 meters. If the water can be drawn from elevation 76.5 meters to 75.5 meters in 42 minutes, determine the length of the spillway in meters. So sabi niya dito, use Francis uh, formula. So, kaya lagay natin yung given dyan. So for example, this is your reservoir. Uh, ang area niya is uh, 4.6 hectares. Ito yung ating uh, spillway. We are looking for uh, the length. So yung time to discharge down niya is uh, 42 minutes. Initial elevation is 76.5. Final elevation is 75.5. We are to use uh, Francis formula. That is equal to 1.84. L H raised to 3 over uh, 2 Okay, so I-draw natin yung mismo uh, portion ng uh, spillway So, check na yung given ulit. So, permanent crest is at elevation 75 meters. 
Okay. So, for example, uh, initially, ito yung elevation ng tubig, 76.5. After 42 minutes, yung elevation ng tubig nasa 75.5 meters na lang. Yung crest na to, or ito, yung edge ng yung edge ng awir natin is at elevation uh, 75 meters. So, paano natin guhunin yung leg na yan? So, we have uh, yung derived formula kanina, we have the uh, differential time from 0 to t is equal to the integral for difference, uh, negative dif area differential head divided by flow rate actual. Anong gagamitin na formula this time? Sabi niya, Francis formula. This is from initial head to final head. Okay? So, pwede naman natin i-simplify ito. This is now equal to time, equal to negative area, dh, divided by an inflow rate actual nito, then 1.84. 1.84 L H raised to 3 over 2 to be integrated from head 1 to head 2. Then we have, ang hinahanap natin is L, pwede natin pagpalitin yan mamaya. So we have the equivalent of time, this is equal to negative area divided by 1.84 L, tapos naman yung mga constant, itataas ko doon, this is H raised to negative 3 over 2 plus 1 divided by negative 3 over 2 plus 1 to be evaluated from initial head to okay, the final head. So we have the time is now equal to, this is the same as negative 3 over 2 plus 1 is negative 1 half. The simple of negative 1 half is negative 2 times negative, this will be positive 2a divided by twice, ano, divided by uh, 1.84 times the length this is multiplied by h raised to negative 1 half so para mag positive yan we have that time is equal to twice the area this is to be evaluated from h1 to h2 divided by 1.84 this is multiplied by para mag positive ibababa ko yan 1 over upper limit h sub 2 raised to 1 half minus 1 over h sub 1 raised to 1 half or since 1 half naman yan the same as the square root so it's the same as 1 over the square root of the final head minus 1 over the square root of the initial head so take note saan lang ito applicable kung wala yung L saan lang ito applicable applicable lang ito kapag Francis formula at rectangular wheel iba yun sa triangular iba sa Sipuleti, iba sa trapezoidal. So, pwede nyo i-derive, pero magsisimula lang yung concept niya dito. Simulan nyo lang yung concept dito. To have those formula. We're looking for the length. Pagpalitan ko lang ah, cross multiplication. Ang hinahanap kasi natin is yung length. Ilalive yung length dito. Ibababa ko na lang yung t. Yan. So, you have the length is equal to twice. Ano yung ating area or before that? What is our area? This is hectares. Kailangan ko sa square meter. That is, area is equal to 4.6 times 10,000. 10,000 square meters. So, take note that 1 hectare, 1 hectare is uh, 10,000 square meters. So, the area is equal to 46,000 uh, square meters. What is our initial head? Initial head is the height of water above the press. So, this is your initial head, H1. Ito naman yung final head, H2. H1, gano'ng kataas yung tubig above the press initially? That is 76.5 minus 75, that is 1.5 meters. After 42 minutes, ano na siya? 75.5 minus 75, head number 2 is simply 0 0.5. Okay, so kompleto na. Yung uh, time natin in minutes, gawin lang natin siya in seconds. We have the time is equal to 42 times uh, 60. We have... It's equal to 2,520 seconds. Okay. Then, 
ay we substitute we substitute dito so the line will be equal to twice the area is we have 46,000 divided by 1.84 so pinagpalit ko lang yung time tsaka L the time is equal to 2,520 divided by 1 over the square root what is our final head? 0 0.5 minus 1 over the square root initial head the square root of 1.5 meters so what will be the length of the press? an example of falling head. Kapag falling head, again, magkakonsider tayo lang. Fine. 